This is Twit. So there is one industry that has not ever done a bug bounty or a hackathon. It's the voting machine industry. Oh, really? Not fans. Not really fans of people showing how insecure they are. Mm -hmm. Uh, nevertheless, DEF CON this year I think had they're still a, running like Excel 98 or something. <laughs> I know. <laughs> DEF CON going on this weekend in uh, Las Vegas had, uh, for the second year running, a voting village. Organizers set up decommissioned election equipment, invited huh. the hackers to find, <laughs> according to BuzzFeed, creative and alarming ways to break in. <laughs> Last year, conference attendees found new vulnerabilities in all five voting machines... This year, in a room set aside for kid hackers, <laughs> an 11-year-old girl hacked a replica of the Florida Secretary of State's website within 10 minutes and changed the voting results. Wow. An 11-year-old changed... <laughs> no, that was a bad... We're not doomed. the real site. But, uh, you know, if Their an 11-year-old can do it, I think yep. the Russians probably could, too. Oh, much quickly, much more. Did you see the XKCD about voting? It's like 2030, I think. And it talks about, okay, if you ask a person who is an engineer for airplanes. Oh, I like, do remember this one. How do you improve security? They're like, well, we iterate and things get a lot better. And then they say, how about elevators? Oh, there's multiple fail safes. Basically, it's impossible for an elevator to fall now. And then they start to talk about voting systems. And they're like, Oh no, no, that's terrifying. You should you should not trust anything we do. It's a wonder no one dies. Uh, and then I don't know how to tell you this as the software engineer, but our entire field is bad at what we do. And if you rely on us, everyone will die. Well, they say they fixed it with something called blockchain. Ah! Whatever they sold you, don't touch it. Bury it in the desert. Wear gloves. Did you see the West Virginia company that's going to use mobile voting? Mobile voting for overseas, overseas voters. Overseas service members. But no paper trail. In fact, more and more, it's interesting. You wouldn't expect computer scientists to say this, security guys, digital folks to say this. But almost all of them now say the only way to safe way to vote is on paper ballots. Yeah. Paper ballots. Paper and, if, and pen. Failing that... At least you need a paper trail. Uh, yeah, at least yeah. backed by paper. In yeah. fact, they're auditing now voting machines that they've given them. Like, what was it? The, the district in Ohio that had 200% voter turnout? Wait, <laughs> did you see Georgia. that one? Georgia, Georgia that's yeah. right. Unfortunately, 200%. <laughs> they really care about voting in, down there. In, in the United States, I mean, you know, you know if it gets over 30%, you're something wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, so, 200, 243% voter turnout. Oh, 243%. Problem is, these machines are the ones no one should use, have no paper trail. Mm -hmm. so wow. The, so these are Diebold. Wow. Diebold. Diebold wrote Diebold, to us uh, and told us how to pronounce it, and I forgot. I think it's Diebold. 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 Uh, machines that don't have a paper trail. You've got to have at least an audit trail, so there's going to be very difficult to audit. Show the receipts. And this is from the state primary election in May. One precinct. Well, did you see the, the Twitter 276 thread? registered voters in Mud Creek. 670 votes cast. They just vote early and often. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did you see the Twitter thread sort of deconstructing the votes website? They're the blockchain <laughs> voting system. No. Uh, Let me so, see if I can find it. Who's it? Who's it? Uh, uh, Kevin Beaumont. Okay. Uh, so and and so he looks at the website. He's like out of date SSH, Apache, PHP. Oh, I remember Pop this. Three, uh, Plesk, and then and then he just keeps going through. Plesk, and it, <laughs> please, really, yeah, Plesk. At some point. Votes comes in and is like, no, you don't understand. And then he's like, oh, don't understand where you left your source code on GitHub with hard-coded usernames and passwords. And uh, it's uh, it's a pretty bad cell phone. Um, uh, so <laughs> lots of uh, good actually information. Here's Rachel Toback at the uh, DEF CON hacking conference, um, learning how to gain physical, getting access, admin access to a voting machine requires no tools, takes under two minutes. What? It's used in 18 states, this system. What? You just press a button and it opens? Yeah, wait a minute. Let me, just show, oh. let me just show you this. You okay. can turn on my audio. Yeah. This is Rachel. The machine is used in 18 different states, and it's extremely easy to get admin access on this machine. So let me show you how quick it is. It's about a little under two minutes. 
So by the way, this is the All voting machine in the book. All actor would be to open up this machine by pressing this button right here. <laughs> when it's off, removing the card reader. Removing this, you don't need any tools to do this. Unplugging this, again, you don't need any tools to do this. Oh, wow. There goes the hard drive. Turning it on, all you have to do is pick this lock here with a ballpoint pen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Press the red button. And we're going to let it boot up here. And then I'll show you the admin access. This is a uh, premier voting system. It's used in 18 states, kids. Wow. 18 this is, states. This is not okay. Yeah, Rachel is great. We uh, we actually interviewed her about social engineering. Uh, ah, she's yes. a very, very talented uh, hacker. Uh, so it's loading what, what they call a secure Looks like Windows CE. Right yeah. Did you see that? that? The, the problem is a lot of this stuff came up, you know, following the 2000 election. Mm -hmm. This is when, copyright 2003 to 2008. Yeah. The yeah, software the, running. On the, this. There was a big, there was a big push to update voting systems to get rid of hanging chads and, here and all we're that. See a couple of error and messages, we ended up and all with you have to do to this bypass crap. those error messages is just click cancel <laughs> and OK. <laughs> and now I have. She's got root. She's got root. Access, under two minutes. All she like had to do was really pull the hard drive that's, and boot up to yeah, the firmware. Yeah, that's all she did. <sighs> Does this make any? It, does anybody want to now start a voting booth company that would like have cameras in it, audited, well, well, yes, you know, code yes. that's open source? Why, why should why should voting be proprietary? Voting voting systems. Why should it be proprietary? Why should why is it not well, open source? By the source? way, one of the few strengths we have in all this is that every county uses a different system. So it is it's a at little least, harder to hack. At least you it don't as, have a monoculture. Yeah, there's not a <laughs> monoculture, but you're right. This should be a open source for one thing. Uh we got to look at companies like Debold that don't really seem to care. Um <sighs> it's depressing. Anyway, it's going on right now at yeah. Defcon. I'm sure there'll be more uh, like that, uh, Rachel. Look what else can you. be hacked. <laughs> Everything can be hacked, I mean, man. It's true. Everything.